Welcome back, guys. Uh, in this video, we are going to learn uh, write a Java program to lift to rotate the element of an array. Position equal to three. So, what is the meaning of position equal to three? Means the array elements rotate to the left, left with the specified number of position. Right. So, I'll uh, show you. You know, it's, uh, before we get started, I will explain how this is going to work, and let's see what is the expected output. Right. Let, let us understand algorithm first, right? How this is going to work. I will open my um, Excel. So I'll show you this is the array, right? So this is the array elements here. We have a one, three, two, seven, four, six. This is the element we are having. Now, how this index should be? So this is the index should be start from the zero, right? And uh, it should be one and two and three and four and five. This is the index actually. With the value it is going to store it in a this element value is going to store it over here in the zeroth index first index second third fourth and fifth right so now the question is we have to left rotate right so need to perform the three left rotation on an array then the array should be so now this is the element so left rotation means from here to this side right this is the left rotation so the six element six is a has to uh, it has to need to perform three left rotations. So it has to come one, two, three. So the six has to come over here in this position. So the four, one, two, three, the four has to come over here. Right. The same way seven, one, two, three, seven has to come over here. Right. So the same way the two, one, two, three. Right. So here the three will be, uh, two will be going to come. Right. So now uh, the next one is three. One, two, three. Here the three has to come. Then we have a one. So one, two, three. So the one has to come over here. So this is what our expected output. Right. So it has to, the, I mean this array, right, it has to perform the three left rotation on an array. So this is the question. So we'll write the script and we'll understand how this is going to work. So I'll be uh, added an array over here. So this is the array. Now, I, if I, before we get started, first I'll be uh, the position equal to n. So I can add a one more variable uh, int n equal to, I can say three, right? So I mean, this need to perform three left rotation, right? So I can add a three over here. So before uh, going to print that, you know, left rotation array, so first we'll print the original array, okay? So now if I want to print the original array, I mean as it is, if I want to print, I can make the print over here. So now if I adding original array, right? So this is going to print. How it is going to print? As usual, we'll go for the for loop int i equal to zero, i less than array dot length. Let me add array. Array dot length, then i plus one. So you can give any variable name. So I'm just making a pad. Right. So now if I want to print one by one value over here, then I can print array of i. I will be first time it will be zeroth index. So zeroth index value will going to print. The next iteration, the next value, I mean array of uh, one, this value and the next value. So this will going to iterate till the length of this array. Okay, this is as it is, it's going to print. So now if I want to make some spaces, I can add a space over here. Right, each array, I'm just adding a space as well. So I'm removing the new line. So it will going to print as it is in this way, it's going to print. Fine. So now we need to change the position till the n number of times. So here we have added a three. So I need to rotate, right? So I can say one more for loop, int i equal to zero, i less than, how many times it has to rotate? Three, so I need to go with the three only. i less than three, then i plus plus. So here what we have to do is, first I need to store the first part. So if you see in this part, 
first what we need to do i'll be taking this from uh, you know the last index to one by one till the three i mean three iteration has, has to run and it has to take one by one value from the loss and i need to make it in a separate uh, element then after that i will do i mean i'll do the in once again i will continue the loop and i'll be store these things and i have to continue the you know whatever already we have stored it in a temporary variable i'll be continue them so that's what we are going to do now so now in this i just wanted to store i'll be create a one more variable last element equal to array of uh, i can say array dot length minus 1 so it will go into iterate from the last element right so it will go into store it in the this is temporary variable i just created now i'll be adding a one more for loop because i mean it has to continue complete uh, all the things right so for that i'll be adding a one more for loop uh, and j equal to it has to start from that you know ending right uh, uh, the last element so what i can say int j equal to array dot length minus 1 i mean from that now i have to start from the last element then j greater than 0 j minus minus right so this will be going to start from here right so that's what we have added over here now shift to the element of an array by 1 so array of j array of j equal to array of j minus 1 so what is the meaning of this one the j means it's a zero right so it's a sixth element it has to shift one by one so how many times it has to iterate three times it has to iterate first time it will be array of j will be this one right so it has to shift minus one means this has to come over here the next citation it has to come over here then next citation it has to come over here so this will be you know three times it has to iterate so that's what we are doing in an inner loop right so once it is done what we have to do is last element of the uh, array right so we have to make it as a array of zero equal to this last element right so this is what we have to do now we can print that so we can print the uh, after cd we are you know rotating everything so we have to display the result right after rotation so we can print i'll be printing Simply, I'll be adding array after rotation. Right. So now, if I want to print the same thing, what we have done in a for loop, right? So same thing int i equal to zero, then i less than array dot length, then i plus plus. Right. From that, first it has to iterate. So I can say array of i. The same I will be adding concordinate the space as well. So now I will be removing the ln because I just wanted to print in a same line. So I am just removing the ln now. So now this is what your code. This is very simple. This is very very simple one. This is left rotation. So we will see how this is going to be. Uh, out of output has to be as per that in Excel sheet, right? This we, this is what you are our uh, expected output. We'll see how this is going to print. I'll run this now. See, this is what our you know expected output. Seven four six is coming and one three two. See if you see in this seven four six one three two. This is what your iteration, this is, you know, latest, uh, a lot of interviews, they are asking this question. One is left rotate, one more is right rotate also is there. In next video, I'll show you how to do that thing, same thing in a right rotate as well. I hope this is going to help you. Thank you.